Teenager Lawrence has a strange disease. The body is actually full of green plants. Even the genius Dr. Black Jack is also the first time to encounter such a situation. Black Jack removed the green leaves from Lawrence's skin and took them to the laboratory. The results he got were beyond his imagination. He felt that this disease could not be explained by science. Black Jack told Lawrence the results, but Lawrence's elder brother Ellen had questioned Black Jack. Isn't there a similar condition to Cordyceps sinensis? There are also fungal species that can be parasitic on animals. This was immediately rejected by Black Jack because the plants that parasitize Lawrence's body is not a fungus, but a moss-like higher plant. Because it was late at night, Black Jack was going to take Lawrence to a large hospital with specialized equipment for an exam tomorrow. Black Jack sent the two brothers back to school, but in the middle of the night, Ellen had called Black Jack in the middle of the night and told him Lawrence was missing. Black Jack was going to look for Lawrence. Let Pinocchio go to bed first. What Black Jack didn't notice was, Pinocchio's skin also grew green plants. When he came to Lawrence's school, Ellen had hadn't found Lawrence yet. He told Black Jack. Lawrence had been too timid to go out alone. But Black Jack found that the plants that fell to the ground were from Lawrence's body. It tells him Lawrence left school. Black Jack tells him he will help find Lawrence. On the other hand, an ancient tree appeared beside the sleeping Pinocchio. The window was also opened. It turns out Lawrence has come to look for Pinocchio. He said he sprinkled the seeds on her body. They are now partners. The dazed Pinocchio followed Lawrence and went with him. The two of them kept going along the railroad. Towards a mysterious old tree, they came to a flower garden full of plants. Lawrence took off his clothes and lay down on them. He felt very comfortable here. The plants on his skin also seemed to have grown a bit. When Black Jack returned to the hotel, he found Pinocchio had disappeared. Seeing the green leaves on the ground, he felt something was wrong, called Pinocchio. She got on the phone and only told Black Jack that she and Lawrence were on their way to the airport. After that, she hung up the phone. Black Jack found out from Ellenhead, Pinocchio and Lawrence might have bought tickets to San Fell. It turns out Lawrence lived with his parents in St. Phil's until last year, but he came to London to stay with Ellenhead because he wanted to go to junior high school. They found out why, so the two of them came to San Fell. But when they found his parents, they realized Lawrence hadn't come to see them. His father and Black Jack were going to find Lawrence together. On the other side, Lawrence was heading in a direction with Pinocchio, but he seems to be getting sicker and sicker. Even plants grow out of his eyes. He needs Pinocchio to lead him along. When he came to a river, Lawrence suddenly lay down. The plants on his body started spreading. Pinocchio was terrified, began to frantically calling for help. But an old man came. He seemed to have come to pick up Lawrence on purpose. They just walked out of the road and met Black Jack. He rushed Lawrence to the hospital. After a thorough examination, Black Jack got the results. But they were astonished. The plants growing in his body actually have a sense to avoid his body's organs. It was like a symbiotic relationship. The plants didn't hurt him, but it will continue to drain Lawrence's body of nutrients until he dies. Black Jack had to operate on Lawrence to remove the plant from his body. It took a full 28 hours. Black Jack was able to complete the operation. Finally, they found the cause of Lawrence's illness. It turned out that it was all because of this seed that could multiply infinitely. Black Jack asked Lawrence's parents, has anything happened to Lawrence in the last two years? Lawrence's father told him, two years ago, in the winter, there was a snowstorm. Lawrence was lost. He organized a dozen people to search for three days before finding him under an old tree. The amazing thing is, even an adult would not have survived that kind of weather. Lawrence was unscathed. It was later revealed that the tree was the patron saint of the village. It has existed for 4,500 years. Hearing this, Black Jack wanted to take a look under the tree. But he saw an old man committing suicide. It was the same old man who had been with Lawrence before. Black Jack saved him, but the old man disliked Black Jack's meddling. He sneered at Black Jack. He said he was just a black-hearted doctor who would make money. He said he wanted to live and die with the tree. It turns out that the village has to destroy the tree, which is a symbol of the guardian god. Because they want to open the road to the city, Lawrence's father was in charge of this project. The old man also believes Lawrence's illness is a curse from the tree to his father. Black Jack became more curious about the tree. He started to investigate, but nothing strange was found. A few days later, the construction team was ready to cut down the tree. The old man tried his best to stop the team. He also used incendiary bombs to destroy the excavator. On the other hand, Lawrence was able to remove the bandage, but just opened the bandage, but found that the removed plant was growing again. Then Lawrence told the crowd, he remembered something. That is, 
When he was lost, it was the tree that protected him, he could hear what the tree was saying, this kept him from freezing to death, he also had enough food, Gushu said he liked Lawrence's singing voice, he wanted him to keep singing to him, but then Lawrence left for London, the ancient tree just wanted to remind him of their agreement, at that moment Lawrence came to the tree, sing directly to the old trees, but to everyone's surprise, the tree has been alive for 4,500 years, it was as if it had been satisfied, immediately began to dry and old, soon it became a dead tree, finally fell down directly, and so Lawrence's illness was completely cured, but the old tree did not really disappear instead, it spread its seeds in more and more places, the wind seemed to ring with its voice, if you welcome me, I will always be there, if you see me off, I will come and go like the wind,